And our resident uh, football expert, former Welsh footballer and coach Matt Holland is back with me on the show to build up uh, to tonight's uh, quarter-final second legs. Uh, Matty, we're looking at Barcelona versus Manchester United first and it uh, really is a massive, massive ask for the Red Devils to turn things around, isn't it? Barcelona, 30 games unbeaten in the Champions League at home with 27 wins. Plus United have four losses from their last six games and crucially, they're not uh, playing very well at the moment, are they? No, we've obviously seen the, the form of, of Manchester United. It's, it's been somewhat not far short of dire, um, as we discussed previously to the first leg being played um, at Old Trafford between the two teams um, against the powerhouse of, of arguably European football for the last, uh, the last few years, regardless of, of the coach that they... They have in their hot seat. Um, the statistics are completely against Manchester United for this game. Um, but of course, we know what happened in the last round versus PSG. Um, it was a game that Manchester United managed to pull through, regardless of whether you say it's a stroke of luck, the timing. But at the end of the day, when, when goals are scored, you know the game still starts and ends when, when the referee tells us, regardless of the amount of time that he adds or doesn't add and whether it's fair or unfair. Um, but they came through a very difficult tie. Um, arguably, this scoreline is more in favour of the last tie, but uh, of course we shall see this evening. Uh, now, Maddie, Manchester United know that they have to score in this one and because they didn't manage a shot on target at all in the first leg, is it fair to assume that they might tweak their system uh, for the game tonight? Do you see them uh, uh, you know, lining up any differently? They do have Luke Shaw's suspension to contend with as well. Personally, for me, I think they'll go with the back four. Um, three in midfield. I think there'll be a slight twinge in midfield, the back four, just to start with, to give you an idea of what my thoughts are. I think Ashley Young will slot in at left back. Diego Dallo will still sit in at right back. I don't think he'll play Matteo Damian. And I've, I've been seeing the Lindelofs playing for, for some reason. I think he's going to go with Phil Jones. I don't know why. Um, and Smalling, I think you go with that pairing. Um, David De Gea, obviously, in goal. But in midfield, Matic will come back in. Uh, Scott McTominay, I think, will play. And I, I think they'll be a little bit 4-2-3-1, which means that basically Pogba, I don't necessarily think he will play as a 10 or attacking midfielder behind Romelu Lukaku. I think he'll just play at the tip of a three-man in midfield, uh, but with licence to get forward because he does have that little bit of protection with Matic and McTominay behind him. Um, I believe Marcus Rashford will play in at left side um, and then Jesse Lingard on the right. Um, Jesse Lingard is a player that sort of epitomises Manchester United a little bit, I think, in the last year or so in terms of he's a young player, he's come through, he, he lives and breathes a club like Rashford. So I think he won their energy in such a big game like this um, with the big man Romelu Lukaku down the middle. So I think that's how Manchester United will set up in this game. In terms of the style that they're going to adapt, I think they will play a little bit more structured and compact than try and hit on the counter because we know that Lingard does have pace, not the pace of Rashford, but he does have the ability to get forward. Interesting, uh, Matty, that you'd go for Jesse Lingard over perhaps Anthony Martial. Uh, but speaking about Barcelona, you know, they arrested a number of their starters in the La Liga draw over the weekend. So I assume they're looking at playing uh, largely the same team uh, as the first leg. I want to ask you for a prediction, Matt, given what uh, you know, Manchester United managed to achieve in the previous round at PSG. It's almost as if you know, they need lightning to strike uh, for a second time. Do you see that happening? Part of me tells me that Manchester United have absolutely no chance. Um, the game will be dead and buried after about 30 or 40 minutes because of the flow of the game. I don't mean by the scoreline. I think that it'll be out of their reach. But... But then there's something niggling at me, the whole, not that I'm a big believer in fairy tales, to be honest, but you know I'm, I'm very realistic. But I, I'm just thinking that the last round, Manchester United, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he scored on this ground very, very late. Um, Barcelona don't, haven't progressed for, for, for a while um, to the heights that we know they can or they have previous. And so a prediction, I think... That it, it will be 1-1 and Barca will go through. 
um, or there will be some very late late drama. Um, Manchester United will score, and it will go it go into extra time, and and from there on, I, I wouldn't like to call it. It will be a flick of a coin.